Hey, my name is Stacy. I am just dying to share my favorite scripture with you guys, or a scripture I really love because there's a ton that are awesome. But this one's really close to home, and this is kind of one that I, I really just thought of. So Mosiah 15, uh, verses 5 through 9, right? Uh, four verses, five verses. Um, and it's really interesting because the verses have this kind of like flow. I'm not going to read them because I, I don't want to take up five minutes trying to read these verses. But pretty much... Verse 5 and 6 talk about um, how Jesus Christ was, how much he suffered and how much he went through and how much he was scorned and rejected and disowned and just beaten, just like all these really like kind of sad verbs and that were enacted out upon our Savior. And then verse 8 and 9 talk about how powerful he was and how strong he was and how much he did for us and how much he, you know, loosened the bands of death and um and actually the atonement that kind of thing and i always found it interesting because five verses five and six are like these really negative sad verses where it sounds like someone who is not powerful and then verses eight and nine are just the most jubilant just most powerful verses you know in this in this chapter and it's cool because verse seven explains why it is the way it is and i think that's something that's super relevant to us and the end of verse seven it says um and the flesh became becoming subject even unto death. The will of the Son being swallowed up in the will of the Father. Uh, this is a beautiful lesson in, in obedience and humility. Jesus Christ did um, exactly what his Father wanted him to do. And so while his life wasn't comfortable, he was punished or beaten and, and scorned, that kind of thing. He was ultimately very powerful. And I think the same applies to our lives. Um, we're not always going to have all the answers. We're not always going to be the most powerful you know, beings in our, in our own lives. But as long as we're being humble and trying our hardest to do the will of the Father, being obedient, um, the Lord will have our back. He will keep us strong and we will be strong. We will be able to change lives. We'll be able to change our own lives or life, I guess. But um, that's, a, that, those, that's a section of verses that means so much to me. And I know for a fact they're true. I, I love this book so much. Um, it has changed my life. And so I, I hope that that means something to you too.